How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to use your uh, Android tablet as a remote for your Chromecast. And uh, here I'm using the Galaxy Tab 3 7.0. And all you have to do is make sure that your Chromecast is turned on and make sure you switch to that input so you can see it on your screen. And make sure that your tablet is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Chromecast. That's all you have to do to get started. Now I'm going to demonstrate it on a couple different apps here just so you can see kind of what to look for, kind of how you use it. The first one I'm going to do is Netflix. So Netflix is open. This is your, this is your Chromecast symbol right here. So when you tap that symbol, uh, the tablet's going to ask you uh, where do you want to play it and you want to tap your Chromecast. Now I have my Chromecast named Bedroom Chromecast. So I'm going to tap Bedroom Chromecast and then the TV will switch to the Netflix app um, which works through the Chromecast. So it's going to switch and then all I do is find the, the show I want to watch on here. So I'm going to watch the Magic School Bus. So let's find it down here. We're going to tap on it and then we're going to pick the episode we want to watch. So let's pick this one right here and then it will send it to the TV. So on your screen it will just show a picture but on here it will actually load it and play it. Okay, there you go. And so the cool thing is while it's playing, you can actually close Netflix and you can do other things. If you want to control the volume, open up Netflix. And let's see. We're going to tap down here. And our volume is up here. There's a little bit of a delay, but you can, again, use this to control the volume as well as the remote for your TV. All right. And so again, the cool thing is, it'll the the tablet again works as the remote, so it just kind of like sends the, the content you want to watch, and then you can go back to using this to do other things, whatever else you want to do. And when you're finished, or you want to pick a different episode, you're going to go back to Netflix, and you could pick a different show if you want, or you can just disconnect it by tapping the icon, and then we want to tap this device, and then it will stop if I'm streaming the content to the Chromecast. Now I've noticed that the Netflix app can be a little uh, buggy. So right now we've, we've actually switched it back to this device but it still hasn't stopped. So it is kind of a fairly new device so it's still you know they're still working out the kinks. So the, if you need to turn it off and it's not responding to your tablet um, switch to YouTube. I found the YouTube app tends to work the best with it. So we can go to YouTube and we're going to tap the Chromecast symbol again and we're going to tap Bedroom Chromecast and what it's going to do is it'll actually once it finishes loading it's going to switch uh, from Netflix to YouTube and that'll, that'll get you to uh, turn it off. So again, let's wait a second here. Looks like YouTube isn't fully loaded yet. Okay, let's see if we can undo it. Let's switch it here. Oh, okay, so look, uh, in the YouTube app, we actually have a disconnect. So we can tap our icon here, hit disconnect. So it looks like it's actually not even responding to the YouTube app. Normally it does respond to that. So we're going to hit our home button here, go back to home. And you want to bring up your multitask. Now on the Galaxy tab, you just hit the home button twice. Let me turn the light on so you can see it. So our home button is the, the bottom here. We're going to hit that twice. Oh, sorry, not twice. We're going to hold it down. And we're going to have to close Netflix. We may have too many apps up all together. We're going to close all our apps here. So this is, this is a tough scenario here because it looks like uh, the Chromecast is sort of frozen. And this is okay to show in the video because this may happen to you so you'll know what to do. So in the event that it does not respond at all to your tablet, you should just go over and unplug the power to your Chromecast. If we unplug the power and then plug it back in it will then kind of reset itself now keep in mind don't unplug 
the Chromecast, the actual device from the USB. Don't, I mean, not, excuse me, I'm sorry. Don't unplug the Chromecast from your HDMI. You need to actually unplug the power. Unplug the power, plug it back in, and then it will kind of reset itself. So now we're back to our home screen. Okay. And so now I'm going to turn the tablet back on here. And um, Netflix seems to do that on all the devices I've tried. Uh, I've, I've tried it on the iPad and the iPhone. So, um, again, it is a fairly new product. So there are a couple of bugs that need to be worked out of it. But um, nonetheless, it still is a good device. I wouldn't hold that against it that it's a little glitchy like that. Apple TV has been out for years and it still does the same thing. So streaming is still, you know, in the process of getting better. So, anyway, I want to show you Pandora. Let's open up Pandora. And it works the same way. So you're going to look for the Chromecast symbol. You're going to tap on it. And then you want to select Bedroom Chromecast. And then you want to pick a station. So I'm going to pick the Brandy station. Okay. Let's actually do the Chromecast again. So tap there. We're going to tap Bedroom Chromecast. The TV is going to switch to a really nice Pandora interface. And then it will begin to play out of your TV. Okay. There it is. Okay. And then when we're done, we can just tap it again. Tap disconnect. And so see the Pandora app works a little bit better. You know, so when we hit disconnect, it disconnects itself. So the cool thing is, again, you can let Pandora play. You can, close, you can do other things in your tablet while it's playing. Okay. Last thing I want to show you uh, Hulu really quickly. So our Hulu, in Hulu, the Chromecast uh, icon is right here. And when we tap it, we're going to pick Bedroom Chromecast. Again, that's because that's what mine is named. Because might be named something different. And then it'll switch to a uh, Hulu interface. Kind of cool there. And then you would pick the show you want to watch and it'll cast. When we're done, we're going to tap it. We're going to go this screen. So sometimes it'll ask you to disconnect. Sometimes it'll just say switch back to your own device. So that's why I kind of wanted to show us you guys can see the difference in those examples there. But anyway, this has been how to use your Android tablet as a remote for your Chromecast. Hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video. And subscribe to HG Tech Videos and like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Tech Videos. Take care and have a good one.